What's happening, my fellow geeks and geekettes, and welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. Okay, so it's been about a week since I went to Kuda Leather. This is the place where they're making the actual coat and I gave them the yeah, actual yeah, measurements and um, yeah, so now ah. we're going to be picking the coat up and I'm really excited, like I'm kind of nervous at the same time. I've given them the photos of the matchless jacket, like the actual coat that was worn by Ben Affleck. So. Since dropping that off, we went to Lembongan, which is like a, a, a secluded island, which is like Bali back in the day, so it's not commercialized or anything. So I'm on my way now to pick up the jackets, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so as we all know yesterday, I went and picked up my jacket and I was very excited. So much so that I was too excited to the point that I didn't really quite take in that it wasn't exactly to the specifications that I wanted. Now, like I said, when I went into Kuda Leather, I supplied them with a photo of the matchless jacket that Ben Affleck wore. So these things were made in London and there was a nice high definition full body shot of this jacket. I also brought in my original trench coat, which you guys know that I got from a thrift store back in Sydney. The reason being I brought this so they could use this as a size reference because this fits me perfectly. Even if I have to put on a few more kilos, it still fits me snug, flush, and it doesn't look too loose and bulky. So I gave this to them. I said, you guys can keep this and use this as reference whilst the coat is being made. Now, when I picked the coat up, I was very excited and I put it on, it looked amazing, da da da. When I got back to the villa here, um, I realized that they had done an exact copy of this coat, just longer like a lot longer, so. Um, and I realized that this morning, and to be honest, it cost me $270. Now, first of all, that is absolute value for money. Back home, you'd expect to pay somewhere around 800, even up to 1,000 for a full length, full leather trench coat. So that price didn't bother me at all, but what bothered me was the fact that I've come, you know, thousands of kilometers, and to turn around and be like, yeah, it's okay. I just can't do that. I'm a cosplayer. You know me guys, I'm a stickler for accuracy and if I want something, I go after it. So anyway, this morning I came down with a bit of a tummy bug. It's not very pleasant and it's one of those things that you get as a complimentary gift when you visit Bali. So I'm smashing the red fantas, the plain rice crackers, just eating bland food and just trying to rest up and I rang the leather shop back and I said, look, you've stuffed up, you've done an exact copy of this when I supplied you with a photo of how I wanted the coat to truly look. And you know what, they were cool about it. They go, yep, sweet, come back down and we'll get it sorted for you. So I hopped in a cab and I told the cab driver, drive as fast as you can to this leather place because the last thing I want is to shit my pants in the back of a cab. So anyway, I got there, they were great and our flight doesn't leave till 10.30 tomorrow night and it is one o'clock in the afternoon here. So. Tomorrow at midday, it will be ready. And they said, we are using this photo as the reference now. We understand it was a communication breakdown. Cause you also gotta understand there's sort of a language barrier going on, which, you know, that's understandable, shit happens. But the fact is I couldn't just walk away half satisfied. Yeah, it's a good coat, but it's not like the matchless coat that Affleck wore. So anyway, that's where we're at. I'm just gonna chill this afternoon, watch some TV. I'm already getting a sweat up talking, so. I feel icky. Okay, so today's the day where I'm finally going to pick up the coat after the alterations and the adjustments to make it look like the matchless trench coat. It is absolutely bucketing down here. It's like torrential, tropical, humid rain. Oh, what a glorious day to go get a coat. Feeling a lot better too. The tummy bug has subsided. I just stayed in yesterday, watched 10 things I hate about you. Just quietly. Smash your cool, smash coconut water. Got these amazing little herbal tablets from a little medicine man. I don't know what was in them, but my God, they fixed me up. 
up quick smart. So I guess there's nothing else left to do but to go out in this storm and get a cab, pick up the coat. We've got to pick up a few more things. I've got to get some stuff for my dad. Um, and then yeah, come back here, show you guys the coat and all its glory, providing it's what I wanted. So the time is just past 10 a.m. and our flight doesn't leave till 10.30 tonight, which gets us back into Sydney at, I think, seven o'clock the next morning. So regardless, let's go get the coat and finally see this thing in all its glory. Okie dokie guys, I've picked up the coat and well, I'll let the footage speak for itself now. Here's the original coat that you guys know that I bought from a thrift store back in Sydney for $80 and they used this as the reference and originally made it exactly like this. So I took it back, I said look this was only for a size reference and I showed them the photo of the matchless jacket and I said that's how I want it to look. I want it to be this size but to look like the matchless jacket. And here is the brand new custom made Nightmare Batman trench coat. Now, they've added the little side petticoat thing and it's just beautiful, guys. Originally, when I picked it up, it had six buttons like this guy. They've gone back, tailored everything and removed the three extra buttons. So now there's only three. Uh, they've included the petticoat part, you know, it's just beautiful. The leather is just absolute quality, guys. It's soft, you know, it's... I'm beyond happy with how this has finally turned out, guys. Rudy at Kuda Leather um, here in Bali has done an amazing job. It's even lined. So obviously this is unweathered. I will be doing a tutorial on how I'm going to be weathering this thing when I get home. But for now, it's time to wear it and strut. <laughs> Guys, I am just so happy with how this has turned out. This has been a labor of love, but obviously more so for Rudy the Taylor. You know, he's got that down pat, it's the three buttons, it's just perfect. And you know what? It feels amazing to wear. Like the leather, the leather is lambskin, if I'm not mistaken. So it's just soft, supple, you know, it just hangs perfectly. You saw in my uh, dance montage there just how well it flows. So obviously to wear now, it's fucking hot because we're in Bali and it's humid. I'm starting to work up a sweat already. Plus that dancing baby, it gets you sweating. Guys, I can't recommend Kuda Leather enough. They are amazing. They went above and beyond my expectations of what I wanted. And you don't have to go in and see them in person. You can correspond with them via email. You can send them photos of what you want copied, send them your measurements, and they will make it up for you. And then you can just pay them. And you know what? It's damn cheap. 280 Australian dollars for this. That is fuck all. I actually found out what the matchless jacket actually costs and to be honest it's not even the full length coat they're offering it as a jacket that goes up to about there they want two and a half thousand Australian dollars just for that fuck that I'm not paying that much for a fucking coat even if it comes from the same company that made Affleck's coat. The point is guys, I am stoked with this. It is a great addition to this nightmare Batfleck cosplay and I'm thoroughly over the moon with it. So thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that. The point of this story is if you want something, you go after it and you don't come nearly a quarter of the way around the world to just be like, yeah, it's okay. Follow it through. As always, thanks very much for your continuing support and watching. And until next time, geeks, please always remember. Cosplayers do it best. I feel like a bullfighter. Cosplayers do it best. Senorita. I've had too much coffee.